All right, guys, we're back. Back, back, back. Um, as I recall, the first thing we wanted to do is train. I think we just went up a level. So let's figure out where we can do that. There were places in town, I recall. But I don't want to... Oh, I have lights going. That's awesome. Where the fuck's the exit down? Am I this? Dear Jesus, my, my memory is just... An atrocity. It must be around this corner. rather train things that, um, well, A, are useful to me, obviously, but things that I'm not likely to train easily on my own. We could, we could go back and just do heavy armor in that one, uh, oh, Christ, we're in, we're in something called the library. We should also see if there's anything here. I mean, odds are there's something on one of these shelves that will, uh, aid us. It seems to me most of the ones that can aid you are valuable in price. I don't know for sure, of course. It seems we've been noticing there's somewhere between 25 gold and 200 gold. After we train, I... I I'll be honest, I forgot what we were doing. It seems to me we hadn't quite finished off with a dungeon. I think my need to pee became so overwhelming that we just said, fuck it, let's just go. But I don't quite recall, so we're going to look on the map and see if I can figure it out, or, or, on, or on a quest, if we have an active quest. I don't remember. Nothing. My earliest playthroughs, I probably would have looked at like every single one of these books, unless I saw for sure it was something I'd read before. You know, obviously, when there's multiple books beside each other, I probably wouldn't have, but I'd probably open every single one. Just to be sure. I just want to waste more of your time than I am via this process. It's an odd thing playing a game like this, especially when you're playing it the way I am, with the uh, you know, one death equals the end. You have to play really cautiously, and part of that is you know, saying I gotta level up in every way I can. And again, in a game like this is somewhat less important than it would be in some other games, only because the monsters kind of level with you. But that said, there is a, you know, the, the more powerful you get, the, I think generally the safer you still are. At the very least, you have more more powers at your command to, you know, fall back on if worse comes to worse or something, you know? Well, looks like there's nothing up here. Um, alright, let's head out of here. <coughs> I don't think anyone I hope trains. He does. Actually, I don't even know who he is. Let's, uh, Tell me more. I guess I do know who he is. Well, first Sounds of all, like the skin grad branch of the guild can't even keep track of its members. How appalling. That problem is solved. Relax. What do you know about this ear ran She's nothing but trouble. She went to the university long ago, but was expelled from the guild. Caused all kinds of trouble while she was there. I think Tikius was the one who finally blew the whistle on her. That it'd be just like him, too, always playing by the rules. Look, you can't have it both ways. You can't be upset with Skingrad for not following the rules and then be mad at him for following the rules. What about this book she wants? Doesn't that have something to do with the aliens and magical control over the weather? I think that's the rumor I heard. Definitely not giving it to her. She seems like a crazy person. Uh, Pay attention training. and you can learn a lot. That's just too fucking pricey. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something, something to suit you. Time on our own. Summon ghosts is the best you've got, eh? Be seeing you. It's just not as useful to me. That's one might wish. Well met. Another. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Irana as soon as possible. Take these gems out. It's my pleasure. Them all. Please continue. Alright, well at least he knows some For stuff. For you, of course. 
Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the main... I passed her the other day. You wouldn't believe the look she gave me. Whatever happened, she's taking it out on the whole guild. I still don't believe it's real. If it was real, you'd have some sort of proof, right? Well, I don't see any proof. Well, we'll just see about that. Bye. Alright, again, we do have to train. I'm not going to spend 860 Good training. Day. It's something I do every day. Conjuration's getting up on its own, not to mention Please, the fact that... go on. I don't need any more... We're already casting the most powerful conjuration. It sounds so like there are an awful lot of problems at the Bruma Guildhall. Gene does a poor job of running that place. Man, you guys hate everything. I don't know all the details, but I heard that she complained to the council until they removed Tikius from his position at the Arcane University. If Tikius says it's a myth, I have no reason to believe otherwise. Can you prove him wrong? He sent me to get Goodbye. it, so it's probably not a myth. Nothing. Nothing here. Really would love to find me. Mean, again, we can just grab all this. So I, 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 if I was playing just Good. Only, that was my only goal. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Irana as soon as possible. It would make sense just, just to take all that. Not, I was going to say steal all that, but it's not stealing. I don't care if you take it. But in real life, it would be a really asshole thing to do. So I'm not going to do that if I can avoid it. It might be the odd thing if I see something that's genuinely useful to me. I'm just going to start stealing all the objects and selling them. Just to get my mercantile speechcraft up. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say syndicates of war. What were we doing here? Well, hey, let's see if... Imperial goods. Is this person Hondekar training something? The name? I'm a hunter and mount... I know who you are. I Train. can show you some new things. All right, all right. Pay attention. Let's... You've got... Knowledge. Admittedly, it costs a bit. Yes, it would have you gone too. up on its own eventually. Hi. Let's make sure we got all five. I think well we met. I'm willing to teach. Yeah. Um, Goodbye. But it goes up slowly. I think you've noted that. It's really, really preposterously slow. Do I know you? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. I've never been to Shainal. I. I get fifty gold. Oh, hang on. You're someone else. Apologies, my good friend. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I am. Didn't I see you in shade and all, they say? Well, I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. You're going to travel gold. to shade Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... You're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. There's 50 gold pieces in it for your friend. Right then. Off you go. All right, well, I'll get on it sooner or later. We do have something else going on. Uh, I'm sure we were... Were we dealing with the... When we dealt with the Odeal Farm, there's no, there's no goblin hold near there. I don't know what the hell we were doing. It could have sworn we were halfway done. We gotta get here ultimately. All right. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I don't remember what we were doing. I, I thought we were in the middle of a dungeon. Maybe I'll go back and watch the video later and be like, "Oh, what the hell?" I totally left this thing undone. We finished all this shit. Yeah. Long ago. Well, maybe we head for Shadeleaf Copes. I know for sure we're not dealing with the bear guys right now. We never even got that uh, tower on the map. We didn't quite get close enough to it. Wherever that was. That's not Ailswell. Well. Wherever that was, we need to get quite, quite close enough to it. Here it is. Fort Caractus. I believe we were done with that, so I'm not going to go back there. Alright, let's actually deal with the Shade Leaf thing. Uh, but not the Shade Leaf, the, uh. This thing. We can put a marker. I don't know if we need to, though. We can, well, yeah, we, I guess we do. No, we don't need to. We can make it our quest, and it won't matter. Let's do this. 
could deal with Wayne and Priory. Maybe we even should. I mean, it is literally right outside the, the gate. I'll tell you something I've noticed is we haven't seen a single imp yet. Like, I haven't seen a single Daedra, have we, of any kind? And they do start showing up at some point in the game, even the low-level ones. And I think they might start showing up if we deal with Wayne and Priory. It's just another enemy to fight, so at least it'd be like a little variation, it. right? Maybe I'll deal with the Wayne and Priory on the way out. I can figure out where that is. So at the south gate. not a great idea to be traveling up into the mountains at night. It's clearly getting dark. Let's head out here and make a left. I'm not gonna get a horse right now. I don't think we have ready for who are you? Sorry, no time to talk. I have to deliver these copies of the Black Horse Courier. Have the latest edition. Free as always. It's about the Grey Fox. Is it the same one I've already read? Some dude falsely confessed to being the Ray Fox. Again, if you want to read it, pause the pause the video and read that. And pause the video and read that. Um, he wants to stay away from the, he warns everyone to stay away from the war game. I'm just gonna drop it. I don't need your, I don't need your newspaper. At the moment, it's not telling me anything important. <laughs> there is an immersiveness to reading all that stuff. Uh, the truth is, I, I must have. It seems to me I read that recently, so I must have progressed a little further, not than this, but further along that storyline when I briefly played this game before, because I do recall reading that, unless we read it in this video already. Blue steel antiloma is grab some of this stuff. Steel blue antiloma. Fly Amanita, never hurt nobody. Man. I just saw a person, like right here. Did I not? <clears throat> Who are you? I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. Waynon, but yeah. Go ahead. So up and right. That's your <laughs> that, you're pathetic. Blah blah. blah. Is you, I like that a lot. <laughs> Where'd you get that? You can't. You're a big fat liar. Is your I like you're full of it. Sometimes I just go look at the great oak. Magnificent, don't you think? Yeah. If he's not sleeping or eating. He'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory House. All right. Farewell. Now, the weird thing is, if we if we turn this on as our active quest, there'd be an arrow leading us right into that uh, right into that house. So like, there's no there's no gain for the game in, in leading you right there, like leading you to Wayne and Priory. Be one thing, like leading you to this town. Sure, I can see that. But once you get here, it should be like I don't know where he is. I don't like the fact that it like literally Hello. leads you to here's his exact spot. We psychically know where he is. Because then conversations like that become unnecessary, you know? <clears throat> Not that we gained a lot of information there, but we gained enough to narrow the search. I imagine he's in... Well, I, actually, I don't know if this is the Wayne... Prior, I don't know if this is the Priory House. Or this is Wayne and Lodge. I guess not. Is there anybody in here? No, there's nobody in here. Again, we can mix a lot of potions quickly. 
Keep our intelligence rising. Maybe I'll even do that now in case. Oh, maybe it's not getting towards nightfall. It seemed like it was, didn't it? Maybe it was dawn. Maybe I slept through the night. Maybe I meant to sell my shit. Am I carrying a lot of shit I meant to sell? Damn it. Oh, for five minutes. Just ate that bread. surely notice is that uh, as you raise in levels, things don't raise as fast. Like it took us a lot of potions to get one level out of this, right? Making a lot of potions to get one level. We've gotten so high in our alchemy. It's probably our best skill. Oh, I forgot I wanted to save that stinkhorn cap for invisibility. Damn it. Alright, well, it is what it is. Yes? Can I help you? I was supposed to be here like a month ago. I've been dicking around, but um, I must speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. <laughs> See if you have anything worth uh, reading, as an example. Lots of stuff I could theoretically take at some point. And make potions out of. You're not Joffrey. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? We'll see. Up and down. What? Uh, I can't ar- Ugh. Uh, you we Get really now. No, you do me too much honor. I can't argue with that. Ugh. I doubt it. You will. You're. No. I. All right. I get it. Oh, Jaffrey. yes. He'll be in the Priory House somewhere. We are a monastic order devoted to divine Talos, who was the mortal Tiber Septum, the founder of the Empire. Like members of my order, the Blades are devoted to the divine Talos. We honor them for their dedication and devotion. Okay. Good day. Let's take a moment to recognize the, the fun irony of uh, this gentleman being named Joffrey, but played by a man Joffrey had executed in Game of Thrones. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? What? Aren't you Sean Bean? Isn't Joffrey Sean Bean? I could have sworn he was. Maybe that's somebody else we're going to meet later on. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? That's not fucking Sean Bean. What am I misremembering? How is this possible? You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. I was taking his word these, Joffrey. You? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? 
Um, this is what he said. Boom. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? He mentioned that as a big-ass bad guy who's going to come and destroy us. The Prince us. of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I think those barriers are coming down, sir. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. He asked me to find I am son. one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His Where name is, he? is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Oh, I got a lot to ask you, sir. Holy Christ, do I ever. Tell me more about this amulet. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Assistance? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Okay. And help yourself to whatever you need. I guess I will. And I'll ask you more questions in a second, but first I'm going to take a minute. Is this... Oh, you're not looking for it. Thanks. I mean, I could sell all this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I need all of it. All of it. Potions of healing are great, actually. Let's see if this is enough. Yep. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. I have some more questions, sir. Any more assistance you can give me? Any other chests? I don't you can have unlock? much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Prior Mabrel and Brother Piner may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. All right, I will. How about Boris? This dude who died when I first met him. No, he didn't die. He was left watching over the king. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived. But I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. What are these dragon fires they have to light when they ascend? The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. It was empty when I was there. Um, what about the Elder Council? I don't remember the who The Elder are. Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Martin is his son, He is right? a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. Ooh. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. This black god, dark god, Merun's Dagon. The Daedra, prince of destruction. An inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jager Than's plot against the Empire years ago. 
It doesn't surprise yeah, me Elkstrow's to find one. his hand in the current calamity. Yes. And the blades? Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guards. That's about all I have to say to you. I can't charm you. No time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. It's funny. He'd be mad. He'd be like, you can take my gam armor and my steel sword and everything, but don't take a pair. How goes it? I know that you are on an important me? mission for the Blades. Please, if you need he a horse, like my take mine from the Priory Stable. My friend Joffrey. Oh, Go you. with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. He's got a free horse, guys. Um, what about this other guy? Is he still in here? Was he on the other side? A pleasure yep. to speak with you. Um, what assistance can you give me? Here. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. The warp in the West. What about it the Order of Talos? It's widely known, but many brothers of the Order of Talos are also members of the Blades. Chapter houses of the Order, like Wayne and Priory provide safe houses for traveling blades as well as our more public religious functions. Blades who are too old for the active service often join the order as lay brothers. We are honored to have Grand Master Joffrey, or Brother Joffrey as he prefers as a resident here. Incidentally, it is Martin who is voiced by Sean, Sean Bean now that I think about it. The blades are closely linked to the Order of Talos. We both serve Talos, of course, and Many of our brothers are former blades. I myself was training as a blade when I received the call to serve Talos in a different way. Farewell. I might end up soon turning off the subtitles when people speak, only because I, I tend to glue my eyes to them, and it, it kind of breaks the immersion. I, re I read faster than they can speak, obviously. Um, and I end up uh, How are you today? just wanting to skip out of the conversation. Listen, I was told I could have a I'm horse. the shepherd here. Well, I normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here, in any case. Well, we both have better it. things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Good day. Let's go get this horse. I mean, I assume it won't be red. It'll be one of the ones that isn't... So we can take the paint horse. Prior Mabral's paint horse. Let's ride it. Our first time riding a horse in this game. It's kind of cool. I can't steer for shit. I mean, I don't know if there's any real gain in riding a horse. Like, I don't know what you... Let's just ride up to the front stables here so we can park our horse. It's kind of a slow horse. I guess it saves... I mean, I don't even know if we want it, because it, it means our sta our athletics isn't going up, right? You know what I mean? Technically. Can I ride this thing into town? Is, that, is it allowed? We gotta go sell all the stuff we just got. Can you be waiting for me here if I come out? I mean, if it, if it gallops away, I'll be... Slightly sad, but not a big deal. <laughs> in a game when you can fast, where you can fast travel, it's kind of hard to figure out why you would want a horse in the first place. You know, what is this place? The old gray mare. She ain't what she used to be. Something in the steel. This is where we want to go. This old man just gave me a bunch a of stuff. I'm just gonna sell it to you. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Come on. <laughs> Takes so long to get down here. She only gave me one to one. That's shitty. Let 
that's one other uh, victory condition I didn't mention that we need for our character to win this game. We have to be maximum level. I don't know what the level is. There's a level you reach where you can't really get past it. All our stuff's in perfect condition. We're not getting rid of any of this stuff. That would be it. Option. You but I do have to go sell some potions. Sell them in the Mage's Guild. I hope I you. I hope so too. And you want to buy potions. Somebody in here will, I'm pretty sure. A pleasure. I'm willing you to train and what? So I know. You're willing to learn. Alteration. Only quality goods for sale here. What sure we I looked. He doesn't have, oh, summon clan fear. I can't cast it yet. I don't have the mana, but it is a uh, summon Dramora. We can do this one. He tells tons of summoning stuff. F Flame Atronach. What is the highest level one we can do? A headless zombie, a skeletal zombie. Can't do any of these. We could do this. We could do this. I think I think summon Dramora is the best one we have. Let's haggle with them. No, we're good with that. Summon Dramora. Yes. All right, he's a good place to come to get more later. It. Take That's care. good news, man. Let's set that up as our left hand thing. We're not gonna summon our scamp anymore from now on. We're I think gonna summon the Dramora. Let's see what we think of it. It should be, you know, roughly two and a half times better than our old one. I don't want that. I wanted to do this. Why hockey? Alright. And uh, you do you buy potions? Nope. Farewell. Who the hell buys potions? Let's grab some food here, make some more of them. To go sell them anyway, might as well just get as much of it done up as we can. I'm not gonna worry about getting, keeping the nightshade for that Mafala chick yet, the goddess. We'll deal with it when we uh, when we're in that region and we're looking for something to do, if at all. To sell these potions. I don't know if there was an I alchemist in town. Help. You too. Once again, food we should just take and make potions out of. I don't mind that. That isn't the name of science or magic in this world, I guess. And it makes sense to do it now. We're about to go sell the stuff rather than later. Oh, I didn't mean to summon that, damn it. Hello. That's what we're summoning from now on.
You could always add in tons more ingredients later on and actually make potions that are like super powerful if you wanted to. If you could figure out a way to do it. I never did one too. So it was always uh, a little too complex to figure out sometimes. But we could try. Make some really cool potions eventually. We want better and everything, all that kind of shit. You're not gonna help me, are you? You're, you don't want to help me with buying potions. I know for sure you won't. Alright, fuck it. There's gotta be a store around here. Let's just look on our map and see if we know of anything. I'm also not sure what time of day it is. 642. Should still be stuff open. I know what Arbor Watch is, so that's that's the place I could buy and eventually be my home. Fighter Skill's not gonna buy potions. I could probably go sell them in uh, one of these places, like the Orc Book and Crozier, maybe. I don't think it's a trade to be a good place. Let's go there. Let's set a marker here. Hi there. Good evening. They say that when you are sale. We can maybe afford to buy it now, but let's save our money for now. Let's buy the houses later. It's kind of Hello. silly to buy them later in a sense where you don't want to buy them at the last second in the game or you don't get to appreciate them. But at the same time, you know, saving money for training, etc. is probably more important just now. We don't have a ton of money yet. We eventually will, of course. <clears throat> Hello. Good day. Talk to you yet? Certainly. Oh, I did before. My Your mother, mother right? owns this shop. She would be glad of your business. I know. We'll talk to her. You too. Oh, hello. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? I don't know why we want to ask her about Joffrey, but okay. I, like I think it's right enough. Your is that it's yep. good. Uh, blah. Is that so? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. An old cleric with that name comes in now and then. Lives southeast of town on the Black Road at Waynon Priory. Again, a simple making that your quest would ob obviate the need for that conversation, you know. Good that you, you train to get better. Oh, I'm. You know, I could, in theory could train with her. Not right now. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Syria. So good. You drop a bar. That's a f That's a fair deal. I keep those for now. Two seconds, but whatever, I'll keep it. I can't afford to do that. Alright, up to 800. Uh, so that's like 16 ish. Maybe sell them like 14 at a time. That seems a fair price. Uh, a good. I get 15 uh, sold. Transaction. That'll be that. Let me see what you have for sales in case there's... Who knows, right? Need, but 
Good you're game. buying this stuff. I appreciate it. I'm gonna fix that right now. That uh, gameplay. General subtitles off. Dialogue subtitles off. Just for now, because I, I do find I'm, I, I'm I'm impatient with them to shut up, and then it again breaks that sense of immersion hey, you're supposed to get from a game like this. What do you want? We'll see. As does this mini game, incidentally, but <laughs> right and down, You're, maybe. That's I can't. That's a bit yeah. excessive. I can't argue with that. You're what? Don't be silly. You're that's great. <laughs> what did I do that for? Was that? Yeah, that's right. I can't argue with Damn that. It. Oh, that, you got. Don't be. Blah blah blah. That's enough. Don't be silly. That's. You're pathetic. That you that's a bit you're path you're good. Carl's got plenty to eat and good thick walls, and that suits me fine. I don't know what's going on out there in the woods, and I don't need to. Yeah, much better. I think Rena Bruyant may actually love dogs more than her husband. Strange couple, those two. Back to work for poor old Orgnall. The only place it becomes annoying is um in the event that uh, um, they're saying something you've already heard. You know what, let's go sleep in the damned. Uh, let's go sleep in the Mage's Guild. Only because uh, I don't feel like going out in the midst of a storm slash in the midst of... Um, Night as well. It's gonna be dark soon. We're going up to the mountains to get to this place. Greetings, Doc. Again, in real life, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance, I would be off to Martin right now. As a matter of fact, my first playthrough, I think I did that. I did Joffrey and Martin first. You can also finish the entire game and keep playing, but that just seems silly. You want the climax of the game to be. Let's sleep for 12 hours. Get on the road in the morning. Gonna find, hopefully, a, a nice sunny day start. The pleasure is all mine. Also, not sure who we talked about buying a house here. Sooner or later, we're going to want to do it. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> it's still raining. You're off but at least it's daytime. It's about time. Again, I'm not sure we want a horse right now. I don't know. There's also some mines right here. We can just go freaking loot these mines. They're also right here. Beyond the gate. I like dungeon delving. We haven't done any real adventuring yet this this mission, or this episode. It's just been talk. Let's ride. Let's at least ride it to the mine. I just don't really see a point in riding it. When we, when we meet an enemy, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can attack from horseback. Crumbling mine. How do I get off? Where's the entrance to this mine? I don't see it. Where the hell's crumbling mine? Where do you, where do you, th where do you think I found this? Let's go into our detailed map. 
It's right here. It's directly behind me. Alright. We're right outside the gates. Let's just go loot this place. Sell some stuff. Um, I don't know if that's an enemy. I assume it is, but because I don't know for sure, I don't want to attack. Hey, Tanya. How are you this morning? Good. They're evidently bandits down here. Mithril boots. We just got ourselves some better armor. This is worth it. Let's switch out our boots. Sounds like it's this. Instead of our old, what were we wearing before? Chain boots? Chainmail boots. Which get weighed two and give us two defense. He's way three and gives two defense. Not much better, but allegedly better in the long run. Maybe as our as our skill levels up, maybe better. I'm gonna put him on anyway. Right. Ostensibly, they're better. They throw gauntlets, likewise. Ostensibly better. Impossibly mythical these unless our ones are enchanted or something. Our greaves are enchanted, our gauntlets are enchanted. I'm not going to switch them out for those. These give us two defense and one defense, but seven security. For now, I'm going to stick with what I got in terms of that. How are we doing for weight? Now we can always get 50 more beyond that with our spells, so let's keep looking a bit. Alright. There is a pressure plate here with a trap, but it's already been sprung. I guess in some ways, getting better equipment is your absolute best chance of survival, because if monsters level with you, then as your skills go up, they get more skillful. I'm not sure they level with your gear. I could be wrong about that. Any chance we could cast a spell to open it? Do we have the magic to do that yet? I don't think so. But let's check. Open average lock. No, we need none of the alteration skill to do it. Well, let's try and do it manually.
And when we bought those lockpicks from the Thieves Guild way back when, I was like, we, we bought a lot. It's kind of excessive. We've already run out. I'll have to get back to there and buy some lockpicks soon. trying to do. Alright, we gotta do some fancy footwork here. By which I mean drinking some potions. <laughs> uh, let's fortify our health. We don't want to die. Let's do a single uh, push and restore health. Should be okay. We don't need the feather one. Let's do that. And let's restore some magic right away. Oh, this sounds good. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. Wait, we're trapped. <gasps> I've bought Minecraft for this a minute. Yeah. Oh, there's a third person. There is a third person. We're gonna die down here for the I just got glowing red. Okay. Well, that was a little bit crazy. Let's do some repairs right away to free up some uh, weight. And so we can carry more. This will be one of those things where you got to make trips back and forth to here. Start grabbing some shit, see what we can find. Lockpick for sure we're taking. War Axe of Sparks. Alright. A Mithril Cuirass. We're definitely taking this because we're going to use it. So it would give us five defense versus... Five defense. And it weighs more. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Mithril must be better. So there's got to be, as my skill goes up, it must get better or something. There's no other logical reason why, why anybody would use it. How much do we got left? Uh, 40-ish pounds. Take. Let's take his mithril grass again. Let's just take a bunch of stuff. Is that enough? Okay, we can carry it like nine more pounds. That's three more pounds. Get out of here. Come back down in a minute, obviously. Get the rest. don't need the, uh, let's just fast travel. I mean, I don't know if the horse will show up. Maybe he'll just be with us when we arrive. I don't know, but again, I just feel like we need it in this game. At the very least, not right now, we don't. Huh? 
How do you do? Good. I do good. Oh, come on. Let's want us to do some repairs on our own stuff first. I think we got some new stuff that we should quickly repair. We don't need to repair the other stuff because selling it, uh, because of our mercantile skill, it doesn't matter the condition, right? We get the same amount of money for it, whether it's broken or not. Well met. Don't know why anyone would visit the other cities of Cyrodiil. Coral has it all, and a fairly low murder rate. <laughs> Can I interest you in some of my wares? I guess so. We're not using axes, so we got a lot of stuff to sell this girl. Dwarven tank. All the iron arrows. That's a good deal. Fifteen of these. We'll switch over to silver or dwarvish eventually, of course, but for now this remains our, our bow of choice. You know what? Let's sell sixty-five of them. Why are we carrying so many? We use this thing so infrequently. And we have backups of other types. You've made a good, good, a spot. You drive a hot hard. That's more than I usually pay. That's a good deal. I think that's it. I'm Thank you. Oh, I get you to fix some of my if stuff I too, can't please. Fix it. It ain't broke. You too. Alright, straight back to the mine. I don't want to have to. We may have to teleport back to um, Imperial City as well. Teleport. Fast travel back to the Imperial City to, uh, to get some lockpicks. Floor down here after we're done with this. I mean, we can try. Come on, I can't get the first one up. Five attempts just to get one. Is that girl asleep? Is that person asleep? That's a goat. <laughs> so, no, not asleep. We're not cheap wine. I didn't notice if any of those people were like named like captain or anything. I don't know if we we've killed off the boss. I don't seem to that doesn't seem to have hurt me much, whatever that was. This is where it gets its name of Crumbling Mine, I guess. <clears throat> we got a telekinesis spell, maybe we can do this from a distance, but...
We need some magic back. Quickly. All right, sure. Red is because he's hurt them. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Found some fine stuff here. I think we're probably swapping out our shit in a minute. Because I got that. Lockpick. Elven bow. You got any bow guys? Let's look at this ship first, just so we know what we're dealing with. Boots of the Olympian. Definitely better than just mithril boots. I mean, they give us for now the same amount of armor. Two armor. But fortify acrobatics by eight, fortify athletics by eight, fortify agility by eight, fortify speed by eight. Yeah, we're putting those on. New gauntlets of infiltration is exactly the same. We're not going to use the new ones, obviously. Our old ones are just as good, but better shape. Mage's helmet, though. Fortify magic by 20 versus resist magic by 9. Or 1 and 2. We'll go with the mage's helmet. Okay. Um, let's crouch for a minute. Let our spell points come back. Cast this when we can. Yes, we can. Get this stuff back. Actually, I'll call. I'll probably call it quits after we return this to the. Uh, after we sell off this stuff, because I do have things I have to get on with today. Early in the morning, I'll have a lot of time today to play. Sadly, um, more time than I want. Although I did, we still have to do a lot of packing. We are leaving here. This we are, we're coming up very soon on where we're going to split from this joint. Again, during which time after I left that, I don't know how long it'll be before I can record again because I'll lose connection to the internet, etc. Briefly, while we're one advantage, though, I have thought of is, um, first of all, first of all, let's see if this is the end of it, as we know. Uh, um, one advantage that has occurred to me, let's make sure it's truly done here, is that, uh, we've had a lot of problems with the internet here. I don't know if those problems will, there's a way, there's a way beyond here, in theory. But I don't know how. Can we use a pickaxe? Just out of curiosity, I'll see this. Can I wield a pickaxe as a weapon? No, you can't wield it, so I don't know what the hell... I don't know what you do with it, if anything. Do I have a shovel, too? Nothing I can do with this. So if there's a way beyond there, I don't know how to do it. I'm afraid I don't know how, guys. I, I really don't know how. It looks like there's something beyond. Unless it's just blocked. Like maybe they just made a little area beyond there to show that it, there used to be an opening, but now it's caved in, you know? It is after all the collapsed mine. There's every possibility that when we do affect the move, that uh, the internet will be much more stable, and whenever I Twitch stream, I won't ever get uh, these glitches that I've gotten in the past. Fuck, there's an area over here. We at least have to investigate it. Nothing here. Nothing problematic here. Gained a little bit from that. That's the end of that mine. Very profitable. I love our new 
helmet all over new uh gloves was it? I don't remember what it was. Greaves? Boots. <clears throat> and our new uh our new conjured ally is certainly faring better for us than the scamp did. Even though the scamp was quite effective. Hello. Oh. Well met. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? All right, we keep in. Let's compare the dwarven bow, which is fourteen, to the elven bow, which is sixteen. We're definitely keeping the elven bow. So let's get rid of the dagger of shocking. Oh, is this? Yeah, we're selling. Yeah. of these steel arrows. You drive a hard oh, no. steel bow. You drive a You drive a hard. And that's one bar. I'm not gonna sell this, I just wanna know yeah it's worth more. Yeah. That's a good crap ton of money now guys. That's good. Oh. Let's repair our stuff, get her to repair the other stuff. One last thing I want to try before we leave, too, in a second. Bye. Well met. Not hard to carry around for equipment. Take care. Okay. One last thing I want to check out before we go. Hi there. What? What's new with you? I saw Fighter's Guild. Major's Guild. Ugly. Yes. I just want to look at this sign. I guess we can't use this sign. I just don't know who we talked to. I was hoping it would show us who we I talked to. Okay, I'm going to call it quits here, guys. I'll be back probably later today to play some more because, um, I have. <laughs> I'm laid up and uh, locked in the house, kind of. The same as the rest of you for. Massive planetary plague reasons. Um, although I do have to run out to try and get more toilet paper. I know it's ironic everybody's uh, hoarding. I'm not trying to go hoard, but we're we have, we're down to a week's supply. And given every time I go into the store, there's nothing on the shelves. I had to go out for nine o'clock to try and get more. As soon as the store is open, um, and also pick up some more cardboard boxes so I can continue packing up my house. Even though we don't know if movers will still be allowed to work by the time we're moving in about ten days. So we're either packing our house and then we'll live amongst the packing boxes for several months while this clears, or we're packing our boxes and out of here in a few days. I just don't know. It's kind of a weird world, guys. Talk to you soon. Save this here. Sure. Whatever. Haven't died yet. How long are we? Uh, how far are we along here? 23 hours. You haven't died yet. Of course, my first time I ever played this game, ever, on the Xbox 360, I made it 30 hours without dying and then died. So we're certainly not out of the 